Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. It is February 18th. We're a little late, but we're going to plant potatoes today. And it, we're going to just talk all about potatoes. Before we go out there to our plot where we're going to plant the potatoes, I'll show an update. These are, are what I call unconventional potatoes. Uh, our video we we had recently done. Uh, as you can see, they're all popping up. They're green. That uh, won't be long. These will go out there in the uh, plot too. Okay, we're out here at our plot. We've already uh, plowed some furrows. Now, for those of you that don't uh, commercial grow on a small scale like like us, that uh, do a little bit of the farmer's market, so we do more on a market garden scale. Don't be intimidated because we're using a, a tractor and and uh, we're using a middle buster to plow to, to make our furrows and stuff. Uh, you can do this on a small scale. Works real good. You And you use same same knowledge that we're going to be doing here. And right now, uh, we've got quite a few rows uh, none up. We've got about four of them ready. We're using our our uh, pelleted uh, chicken litter, which is a three three three, and we'll use a bucket uh, per row, which the rows are roughly a hundred, a little over hundred foot. So, so that should give them plenty of nutrition. This soil is pretty good. Uh, it's a sandy loam, and uh, a lot of things that I do, I'll. Uh, give you information on what you may need to do different uh, with your particular soil. But we just, we're kind of lazy. Someone sits in the bucket and they'll start pouring fertilizer down. It just takes a lot less time uh, to do it that way. But we've got our helpers. They're in the vehicle staying warm. It started out today about 26 or maybe just a little below. Uh, we've got our potatoes. Some of these are. Uh, they're all chitting good, or I call it green sprouting. That's what the commercial growers call it. But they're they're all doing good. Some are uh, overly uh, growing, as you can see. Uh, the uh, red Pontiacs are kind of known for that. But we've got four, four varieties here. I mean, there's, there's actually 250 pounds, and I know most of you are not going to plant maybe 5, 10 pounds, but that's fine. But we've got a uh, we've got a Yukon Gold. We've got 100 pounds of this that we're going to put out. We've got uh, the Red Lasota, and uh, we've got 50 pounds of that. We've got the Red Pontiacs, which 50 pounds of those. And then uh, we've got... Uh, the Kennebec, and we've got 50 pounds of those. Now, we do have another 100 pounds that we weren't planning to put out until later, but being how much sprouting a lot of these are doing, uh, they'd probably be way too green sprouted, and it'd be rougher on them if we do wait a month. So we might end up putting out that other pounds, which would be a total of 350 pounds. But anyway, what we've done... We went down, and of course you can't see the fertilizer because uh, we put some in, in the bottom of the furrow, and then we pull a little dirt over it. Now, this organic fertilizer would be fine if uh, the potato seed potatoes are touching it, but I still like to have it just a little bit under uh, the plant. That way roots are encouraged to go down deep instead of just going out right there. Uh, with the fertilizer at them. Now I do recommend organic all the time and uh, hopefully I'll do a, a video to explain a lot of the differences in your chemical fertilizers that are synthetic and the organic fertilizers and, and be uh, an honest review on both of them. Not that I'm an organic fanatic, I just try to get as natural as I can. But anyway, what we're going to do is finish this up, and then we're going to start uh, cutting our potatoes, and I'll explain that to you. Okay, what we're going to do now first, in 
we're going to put plant our Kennebex first at the furthest end away from where we'll end up having some sprinklers because it seemed to not like as much water. But we're going to cut these potatoes. Now, a lot of uh, content providers are going to tell you, cut your potatoes ahead of time, let this dry over, heal over. That's not necessary. It's not necessarily necessary to calluses. Now, your commercial growers, they don't do that. Uh, they they take and cut them whenever they put them into the ground. Uh, I've actually seen an interview with one of the major seed uh, potato suppliers, and, and they'll tell you that. Now, you want about two eyes uh, on there. You don't want too, too many eyes because what's going to happen is Unless you're just wanting small potatoes, because each one of these, and th there's quite a few here, this is going to grow uh, more uh, stems out the top. But what that's going to do is it's going to produce smaller potatoes than if you uh, just use two eyes. And uh, the way that we're going to plant these is we're going to plant these 8 to 12 inches apart. Now, when I say two eyes, now you can see this one has a, a definitely pronounced eye. But when you get over around it, you're going to see these smaller eyes that just start to come out. We're, we've got one there and there. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this potato. It doesn't take a big piece to grow. In fact, a lot of people just grow the eyes. They'll, they'll take and uh, eat the potato and they'll grow the eyes. And if hard times, maybe that's what I'd do too. But I'm just going to continue to cut these up like this. Now, when you pick varieties, if you go to your local uh, farm supply or feed store, they, norm they normally have seed potatoes. And uh, they're, they're not going to have your russet like in the, it's in the store. And I don't recommend growing russet potatoes. Uh, russet potatoes are one of the uh, least healthy out of potatoes, and you will grow a lot of potatoes. And some people do that. They say, "I just bought potatoes that are used potatoes that were growing in my my uh, cabinet and planted them." Well, that's that's fine. You'll have potatoes, but you're not going to have as healthy of potatoes as, as if you get. Red potatoes are really good. Uh, everybody knows about Yukon Gold, the one with the butter inside. The Kennebec, I plant it because uh, it is ideal as a potato for uh, roasting or making making French fries with. I, I really like it because it, it gives it's a lot firmer potato. But anyway, I'm going to continue to cut these up, and then we're going to talk about planting. Okay, we've planted, set these potatoes out, make sure the eyes are up. Now, uh, these going down here and cover them. Remember, we pre fertilized and then uh, put a little dirt over it. Now we've got our potatoes that we've cut. She'll go down and then she'll come back. We're covering these about four to six inches deep. And uh, then we'll just wait for them to pop up. Now, one thing I want to say about plant potatoes, and in, in, uh, as you see, I cut mine. I don't let them uh, callus over or, or skin over on the ends. Now, if you're in a situation to where your ground stays real wet or saturated, it might be best to go ahead and uh, allow them to skin over. And let's talk just a little bit about more about cutting potatoes. Now when it comes to cutting potatoes, you're not trying to maximize how many potatoes you have. You're just trying to uh, cut these so that you won't have a whole bunch of uh, small potatoes if you're, if you're trying to grow bigger ones. Now a couple of eyes and these little bitty ones uh, They'll sprout out. Now, if you have more, it's still all right. But a lot of times, all these eyes will uh, come up, and you might have a, a whole lot of plant uh, in 
in a lot of small potatoes because let me explain this potatoes are set above where this comes out of this seed potato they don't set it below it they set it above it so it has to be uh covered up and and then it'll set it out now all these uh, potatoes i believe are determined i don't know if the Kennebec is or not, but I know that Yukon and, and the two red varieties are determinate, which that means is they're going to set potatoes at one layer. Now, a lot of your russets are indeterminate, so they set it all the way up. As you keep burying it, it keeps setting it. Now, the reason we bury it, uh, initially, we want the enough dirt where our, uh, potatoes are going to be under the ground. Now, in a situation after the potato gets up bigger, we'll heal it by, and we'll do a video when we come back to do that. But when you uh, heal them, you're, what you're doing is you're just putting more dirt, and that means that if your potatoes start forming, especially if you have a real good crop, they won't be exposed to sunlight. Because sunlight will turn them green, and once they have green, they have a toxic chemical in that outer skin. And so we don't want that. A lot of times I'll use those that did get uncovered as uh, second seed crop, uh, but we don't eat them. Anyway, and when you cut these, it's going to take an average, and it depends on potato size because some are bigger, some are smaller, some have more eyes, so you, you cut them smaller. But on average, it takes about 10 pounds to do a 30 foot. So you can uh, approximate what, how many seed potatoes you're going to need for your garden. Now, if you want to plant whole potatoes, it's going to take more potatoes. Now, best seed potatoes aren't necessarily bigger. Like, these are kind of big. This is not the best seed potatoes. Seed potatoes are best if they're smaller than a, a uh, tennis ball and bigger than a golf ball. This is more of an ideal size of a seed potato here but like I say you can have them considerably smaller but when you start getting uh, bigger potatoes like uh, this one here this is some people might think bigger is better but but it's not so anyway that to give you a little bit more information okay we've got about 10 rows planted we got about another four left but we got that 250 pounds in the ground and uh, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about planting potatoes, I'll be glad to answer them. And uh, let me know what kind of potatoes you're planning to grow this year. And if it's first time or, or you've been growing them for a while, anything that you might do different that would help uh, other viewers with theirs. And, of course, if you want to see more videos like this on growing and such, just hit that subscribe, hit the bell, select all, so you'll get the notifications. Give it a big thumbs up and share this video. Enjoy that gardening experience.